So I want to say I started roll up in around 2014. I was working at The Guardian at the time, and it was a very different world back then for JavaScript developers. ES6 was the glorious future that had yet to come to pass, and people were using Babel for the first time, and everyone was very excited about that. And people were also very excited about ES6 modules, which at the time were just this theoretical construct, didn't actually exist in any meaningful sense. At the same time, people were starting to browse the web a lot more on mobile devices than on desktop devices. And we were starting to come to terms with the fact that we were shipping way too much JavaScript to the client. And that was a problem that was exacerbated by the bundlers of, of the time. A lot of people use Browserify. And I think the, the moment that I decided that I needed to create Rollup was when I was looking at the output of Browserify. It was basically ballooning the size of the code. And it didn't make sense to me. Like I, I, I knew that we could do better, and I just didn't know how yet. But with the advent of ES6 modules, like it seemed like there was an opportunity to tackle the problem in a different way than it had been addressed before. It occurred to me that if we can use ES modules, at least as an authoring format, we can't use them in production yet, but we can use them as an authoring format, then we could start to make our libraries much smaller. And so Rollup began in that vein. It was, it was a way to ship less code and to encourage modularity when writing code, but it was really designed with library authors in mind and not application developers. It was deliberately very simple because it had this emphasis on just doing the module bundling part of being a module bundler. People came to say that Webpack is a bundler that is for applications and Rollup is a bundler that is designed for, for libraries. And you can use the two side by side. Like you can use your Rollup bundled libraries in Webpack. Like, you know, Vue was a very prominent library that was bundled with Rollup. D3 was another one that was bundled with Rollup. And then people would use those libraries in applications that were being bundled with Webpack. I definitely wouldn't say that Rollup was an overnight success. It did have some proponents early on. Mike Bostock, the creator of D3, was someone who gave the project a very big boost in its early days, both by making contributions to it and also you know, indirectly evangelizing it through its use in D3. But it kind of trundled along, just kind of doing its thing for some years. But over time, more people started to see the benefits of, of using this approach to module bundling. And we started to get some really cool contributions from other people. So when Guy Bedford introduced code splitting, for example, Rollup all of a sudden was valuable to this whole new audience of people who previously hadn't been able to use Rollup because it just wasn't suitable for what they were building. And then Vite came along and it added all of the missing developer experience from Rollup. It added native TypeScript support and native CSS support and web workers and all of these other things, which meant that for the first time, Rollup had the missing developer experience that it had lacked for basically its entire life prior to Vite. And that's where Rollup was born. <laughs>